Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how to use the Steam Linux client to run Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Um, the two main reasons you want to do this are first, that GOG does not have a Linux client at all yet, and secondly, even after they do, it's going to take a long time for them to add proper Proton integration and prefix isolation like Steam has that will prevent the game's wine prefix from you know, screwing up other games' wine prefixes that you might have. Um, so this tutorial is going to assume you've already bought the game, link to that in the description, uh, and that you've already got Steam installed on your Linux computer. Um, if you're into cargo culting, you might want to go to Steam Settings, Steam Play, and make sure that this box is checked. I can personally confirm you do not need to check this latter box, but it probably doesn't matter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to GOG.com and log in. Hover over your username up at the top and click Games to access your library. Um, you'll want to find the Alpha Centauri in your library. Click it once. Now don't click the giant blue button. Instead, you'll want to click um, the Offline Backup Game Installers and download this. So you'll get an executable named Setup, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri 2.exe. Um, Again, you'll want to download the offline backup game installer. This is what you want. Once you've downloaded this file, you'll want to go to Steam, click Add a Game, add a non-Steam game, then click Browse. Um, then you'll want to go to your Downloads folder and change the file type filter away from Applications to All Files. Then select the executable and click Add Selected Programs. Um, Run it once just to test. There's still an open bug where Valve won't auto-detect Proton. Um, if it doesn't work, so it didn't work on mine, you'll want to right-click on the game again, go to Properties, Compatibility, and check Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And whatever the default is that it selects on your machine will almost certainly work. Once you've um, chosen that, just click play again, and now it'll actually run the launcher. And it may take a moment to open, so we'll pause the stream. Once it opens, you'll want to click Options, uncheck Create Desktop Icons, but make sure it does install the game. You already accepted the EULA when purchasing the game. Note the path, see GOG Games, smack, and click Install. Um, this will take a hot minute depending on your hard drive speed because it's a half a gigabyte. Uh, once it's installed, you'll actually want to click Exit at this time. Once Steam registers the game is stopped, go ahead and right click on it again in your library. Hit Properties. Um, you'll want to name it properly. Um, but you also want to update the executable path, so all you'll need to do is click Browse. Um, go to your Steam folder, so that'll be .local, share, Steam. Then go to Steam Apps, Compat Data, and sort them by date modified. Uh, and go ahead and grab the one that's most recently modified, because that's the one we just made. Um, go to PFX, Drive C, GOG Games, Smack. And you'll actually want to type in... A X start dot exe and that's all lowercase, all one word, no underscores, and hit open. Uh, then you can just close this and hit play to see if it works. And this should work. I don't know if it'll show up on OBS because it uses such an old display system. Uh, but if it does, then this will be just be a menu that will choose which version of the game to launch. Uh, the next thing I would highly recommend to avoid certain black screen bugs, depending on your GPU drivers and other things, um, are to actually go in your file explorer to uh, .local, share, steam, steam apps, compat data, the same one you entered earlier. PFX, Drive C, GOG Games, Smack, and scroll down to the file called Alpha Centauri.ini. So they should be alphabetized. Look around. 
alphacentauri.ini. Um, you want to just open it with Notepad or whatever. Um, if it's empty like this, just close it and play the game itself once. Now, just pulling out the menu is plenty. Once you've done that, go ahead and go back to that file and edit it. AlphaCentauri.ini. And you'll want to just add a new line. I want to add it here. Just type direct draw. That's a capital D and another capital D equals zero with no spaces and save that file. Close it. And now you should be good. The game's definitely playable. Um, if you want to set the icon, you'll just again right click on the game, go to properties, click, uh, actually click this little square right here, and just type GFW underscore H I G H dot I C O and hit open. If that doesn't work, just change the filter to all files and hit open again. And now um, the game should be installed properly. Steam will make sure to keep, you know, the wine prefix up to date or whatever. Um, it'll keep it isolated. And now your game's just playable. It's in your library. And you can add it to your favorites and whatever. Um, I hope this helps some people. Enjoy.